She knows the ins and outs of an instrument, but when she moved to Vermont, that her career hit a crescendo. This morning, we're off to Albert to see how violins, violas, and cellos are made in Vermont. Melissa Collins has long loved music. I just love making things and I love creating things. But it wasn't until more recently that she realized her real love was making instruments. Mostly violins, violas, cellos. Um, I work on basses, I don't make them. The backstory of this business brings us to Salt Lake City, where Collins worked in a shop doing repairs and restorations of all kinds of instruments. As she honed her craft, she decided to go to violin making school. The way my brain works, I've always been really interested in music and science, and then I learned that building instruments was something that you could do that combine both of those things. And when she moved to Vermont two years ago, she decided to take up her craft full time, operating under her own name. This luthier does her work in the serenity of the Champlain Islands. While the birds sing their songs outside, inside, strings are the thing. A lot of attention to detail. It's um, being really careful with the wood that I choose. It's just kind of everything altogether. Collins says while the science behind making instruments is largely the same, the finesse between makers is expansive. Different luthiers have different techniques and for that reason, Collins says she's always learning and there's plenty to learn as this craft requires a wide skill set. It all starts with a chunk of wood. It's really amazing to take something that looks like part of a tree and then turning it into an instrument and being there for the whole process of like, you know, splitting that, turning that into the top and back, just like going through the whole process and creating something. Collins mastered the ins and outs of splitting and planing the spruce and maple to create the instrument, but she also takes it a step further. I grow a lot of the plants that I'll use to make pigments that go into the varnish. Ensuring her work looks sharp and hits the right notes. It's certainly a labor of love with multiple projects underway at any given time. And something like a cello can take upward of 400 hours to complete. I'm happy when it like just is an instrument that feels good to play. It feels easy to play and sounds good. Collins sells mostly through shops, but she does take commissions. She also has work in a traveling exhibit featuring female luthiers. That lands in New York City next month. Safe to say, Collins has found her forte, making stringed instruments here in Vermont. For the Channel 3 News, I'm Melissa Borden, made in Alberg, Vermont.